Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter David McKay joins us live right now with what is being done. David. Right now, health experts are interviewing anyone that may have been in close contact with that student. But they reiterate, just because you're on the same campus or even in the same classroom doesn't mean you're at a higher risk. Central Connecticut State University alerted the community over the weekend that one of their students became seriously ill and was being treated for a suspected case of bacterial meningitis. We just got like a bunch of alerts about it, like emails and stuff saying that they found out that a student had it. It's been confirmed. Today, the Connecticut Department of Public Health confirmed the exact strain as meningococcal meningitis type B. When we talk about meningitis, it usually presents with fever, a very bad headache. It can pro progress to seizures and even a coma in some cases. Dr. Virginia Bielek, Chief of Infectious Diseases at the Hospital of Central Connecticut, says while symptoms of meningitis are similar to that of the flu, it doesn't spread quite so easily. This bacteria is spread by close personal contact, such as kissing or coughing right on a person. It doesn't exist outside the human body for a very long period of time. With vaccines available, it's a rare disease in the U.S. The last case in Connecticut was in 2016. The meningococcal vaccine that many college students receive protects them against four of the five types. The vaccine that includes this particular type is available, but is not yet required for college students. It's kind of scary. I don't, I don't know much about it, but hopefully it doesn't spread because it's finals week and everyone you know, wants to go on Christmas break and stuff. You can learn more about the signs and symptoms of meningitis through our Channel 3 app. Live at Central Connecticut State University in New Britain tonight, David McKay, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. David, thank you.